next topic is before going to next topic what i will do let me create one more series view on vbak okay then i will go for the next topic so now what i am going to do i am going to create a new data definition yes vbak this time i am creating a select you know um, view on a vbak table projection on vbak view entity next next and then define view entity same template i am taking and i want to take data here not from the vbak table some which columns i am taking from vbak i will take one or two columns from vbak s11 vbak table display uh, let me take um, you know one two these two columns these two columns and then i want to take this uh, sales or distribution channel division from here okay and also the document type sales document type also i want to take from here so these are the columns that i want to read from this vbak table comma each column must be separate with comma okay now someone coming here and if they are saying what is this vt w e g definitely i cannot tell because i don't remember these uh, technical names so for that reason writing you know comment with uh, the column descriptions always uh, helpful we can write these comments in different way also that we will discuss in later point and you see here uh, what it is saying search help assignment is not uh, helpful and key also we are not defining let it be uh, here we can define key and then activate so now we have two cds views view entities one is vbap and another one is vbak if i expand this vbak i can see this definition to this okay now why i take and created one more is now i am going to teach a new concept called association okay so let's look into the topic associations in series an association represents the relationship between two series views okay it means we can join two series views means uh, not join uh, it, it is kind of join but we can link two different series views okay associations define relationship between entities such as database table or another series view it means we can perform this association between two database tables or between two series views or a table and a series view the is any other combination so associations can also be viewed as a join on demand so this is nothing but when we perform a join then it at run time system performs join between two tables but this is called as a join on demand uh, we will i will explain you what is this on demand okay this means that the association will only be executed when the fields from the associated entity are referred means in the select statement of your series view if you are referring to the other you know uh, table fields then only this uh, you know join will perform or else not uh, we will understand um, in more detail about this one typically series association can be compared to left outer joins okay so since we already covered the joins concept now uh, we can understand this association also easily okay so uh, before going to the syntax of this associations uh, the, there are different cardinalities that are can be implemented in this association there are four types of cardinalities 0 to 1 0 to n or 0 to star 1 to 1 or 1 to n or 1 to star so 0 to 1 means one record in the primary table so when we talk about join between two tables first table and second table right so first table is always primary table and the second table can be you know second one we can secondary table so one record in the primary table has zero or one record in the associated table it means 0 to 1 means if you take one column from the primary table that one particular record can join with the another record in the second table or no it means there may be a hit or may not okay that is 0 to 1 0 to star means there may be no hits 
or n number of hits okay i explained already what is hit means in our uh, you know join uh, different join you know types one to one means one record from the primary table can join with only one record from the second table then we call the type of cardinality as one to one okay one to n means one to many so if you to make it as simple uh, what i can say is uh, for example if i take top and number 1001 1002 1003 1004 like this from vba k okay from vb ap table here i have 1000 Here I have thousand one item ten thousand two item twenty thousand three item ten thousand three item twenty. Uh, let's say like this. Now I will try to explain you what is this zero uh, to one, zero to n, or zero to star. We can say one to one, one to star. Okay. Now let's start with one to one. means one um, only one record from the uh, right table it means if you take 1001 as a record then this record can hit uh, when i perform join between these two for this 1001 there is only one exact match you know on the right hand side then this kind of cardinality we call it as a one to one because with 1001 there are no further records available in the target so this 1001 to 1001 is always unique not only for one record when you say the cardinality the cardinality must satisfy each and every record in the table okay for example if i say the cardinality between vbak and vbap is 1 is to 1 then it is wrong why because for this record yes 1 to 1 for this record s yes, 1 to 1 but when i come to this record it is not 1 to 1 because one record from the left hand side matching with multiple records from the right hand side so it is nothing but 1 to many so obviously entire table fall takes only one kind of cardinality so which is what no it is nothing but 1 to star so 1 to star is the uh, cardinality for this uh, between these two tables okay um, similarly Zero to means, for example, if you say, uh, no, no, the one to star is also wrong. Why? Because if I go for one thousand four, is there any hit in the right hand side table? No hit. So th then it is not even one to star. It is a zero to star. Understand? So the whenever we define cardinality, we must define the cardinality based upon all the entries combination. We must predict, or if we don't know, then we better go for zero to star like this. Okay. based upon the functionality of each table and uh, the relationship between those two tables we can define that particular cardinality uh, before you know it's uh, our on our on our own without knowing the data also okay so coming to the next point ca so cardinality is one important point because we are going to use the cardinality in the association syntax now let me try to create one uh, csvsu with the association right click here new data definition So I'm giving a name as did I say view entity underscore uh, view entity now uh, association right I'm giving as here as of now underscore sales or else we be happy I'm giving association as as here just my own naming convention it is not correct naming convention um, um, association example. okay and then go for next go for next and i am taking view entity only and click on finish button so when i come here i am my first so as i said in when when we creating a csvsu we can read data from existing database tables or existing csvsus now i will show you how to consume the existing csvsus Now instead of going for uh, this one, I am going to consume my lzi underscore s med underscore ve underscore vb ap table. Okay, so I am consuming my existing csvsu which I created on vb ap table. Okay, here I am going to bring the corresponding fields from vb ap table. So let me go here. There is a tab called outline. In the outline, what happens is it will show all the columns information. 
what will happen is uh, this is a simple serial show you can read everything in one single page but there may be serial shows which have n number of lines and with the, all the semantics included in between comments written in between so to identify the column names it difficult okay for that reason if you come to this outline kind of box here system will t easily telling you are reading data from vbap and these are the columns you have in the serial show outline gives you a overview of your serious show in a simple select statement manner okay uh, just to keep this in outline uh, you know a window also in mind so the next thing is uh, we have here multiple columns right so i don't want all the columns from here uh, let me take a vbln posnr when you're consuming a view Again, you no need to take each and every column from the uh, this one. You can take whatever you need. So let's go here. This, um, this. Copy. So these are the columns. Why there is an error message here? The column Jeremy is unknown. Jeremy NG is unknown. <laughs> you see why it is saying like this? When I am referring to this particular serious view, this serious view, now the column name here, I you know, Elias name I given quantity means from now onwards when I am referring to this view, I need to call it as a quantity only. You know, uh, this is Jeremy NG is no more valid. So quantity I need to take, okay, like this. So this is the view. So this is simple view. Now how to write association? After the table name here, we need to write association keyword here. Association, okay, and then we need to provide here. If I click on you know see association keyword, um, here I need to define the cardinality. Okay, so what is the cardinality between VBAP data and VBAK? In VBAP, we have item level data. VBAK, we have, um, what is it? Header level data. Only uh, document number will be there. So definitely there will be a key. Each record from the left table is associated with one record from the right table. Because in VBAK, you always have one record for document number. Okay, that's why I'm giving one to one here. Uh, and then, Mm, to association to so with with which what I want to join I want to join with VBAK okay VBAK view and then so what was the next syntax so on projection we need to write on here I'm thinking about uh, so this uh, view name is with uh, bigger name right so as a vbap here for this a view name also i am giving a alias name vbap and here also i am giving a alias name as vbak and then i am writing the on condition as i said association is also kind of join only that's the reason we need to mention the join condition between these two tables on vbap dot vbeln is equal to vbak dot vbeln Okay, so this is the join condition I am defining here. So what is that it is saying? Association APK is not used. Okay, so association means I am using this association, written an association uh, with the VBAK, but in my elements, in my serious view, nowhere I am referring to any field from the VBAK. That's what it is saying. So generally one more point here is, when we are writing associations as part of naming convention, we always underscore uh, starts with underscore. Okay, underscore VBAK. Uh, this underscore represents the association. Okay, standard naming convention we follow uh, as per SAP standards. So wherever I am using this VBAK, I am always using the VBAK. So the next thing is at the end of this, uh, you know, particular uh, all the fields element list, you need to provide underscore VBAK. Okay. Uh, here we can write a comment called associations. Okay. Now activate this one. So I will show you how exactly this association is working. Activate this one.
so it was activated you can see this uh, you know how uh, there is no dull icon or star mark everything was activated successfully now right click here go to data preview open with the data preview uh, open now you see VBL and PSNR. If you see these fields, all these fields are nothing but the fields from the VB AP only. Okay, there are no fields coming from VB AK table at this point of time. But if you right click here, there is an option called follow association. Okay, if you click on this follow association, then what it is happening? You can navigate to the corresponding field. Uh, one second. Let me close other ones. Okay, now let me do data preview. Open with data preview. Now VBAK, right click here. Follow association. List of associations means it is associated with VBAK. In VBAK, you see there are only um, VKRG. These are the data from the VK, you know, uh, v, VK, sorry, VBAK table. Okay. Currently, you are in the data preview of VBAK because if I go to VBAK, you know, uh, view, another view output. Okay, that that you need to keep on mind. If you want to, if you want to come back one more step, just simply click on your CDSU name. It will come back to your uh, CDSU. Okay.